you know, his tractor supply deliberately out to sabotage the backyard farmer. And a good morning and a good morning to you. I wasn't going to talk about this. <laughs> I really wasn't. I was getting some emails and people were telling me about the story and I, had, I was just doing my own deductive reasoning, okay? There's a lot of new people raising chickens in their backyard and they might not know this information. And when I first started hearing this story, that's how I chalked it up. And I don't want to bring you guys stuff that I don't feel like, you know, is legit. Like, I don't want to bring you stuff that I think that, you know, it's just fodder out there. But then I started doing some more investigations. Then I got some more emails. And this is what I learned about the weaponized food system that America's going through right now. Okay? For, especially for backyard farmers, for chicken, backyard chicken folks. Good morning, good morning. Oh, yeah, it's a cold, cold and gloomy one again. How's everybody doing? Hi, Mrs. Turkey. How are you today? It's a little chilly, but I'm sure you'll enjoy your outdoor adventures. Come on. Oh, and let's get a little water for you. There you go. There's the guineas. Guineas like, let me out. There's a chicken house here. We got the guineas and the couple turkeys and a lot of more chickens in man it's a little chilly we had some snow it melted yesterday it got like a little bit over freezing and now the cold's back in my hands are gonna get cold so I gotta go fast with this story <laughs> okay like I said I wasn't gonna talk about this story and then all of a sudden the things just started popping up and then I you know I kind of blew it off I was thinking man you know a lot of new people are growing chickens and if you guys haven't raised chickens before in the winter time they always kind of slow down that's just the way it is so if you get 12 uh, eggs a day and you're doing really good as you get into winter you might back that down to three or four eggs and maybe even two right because they take breaks they're not machines if you guys are gonna raise backyard chickens please a don't use heat lamps Heat lamps is the number one cause of fire on the homestead. Okay, you, there's other tricks you can use to keep your baby chicks warm. After they're feathered out, you never need a heat lamp again. You just don't. They are totally resilient. And two, don't put lights in their coops to try to trick them into laying more, right? Because uh, the, the chicken is just a being. It's a thing. It's a, it's a living organism. And it needs a break. <laughs> and so I know some of you guys, you, you just get so excited about the eggs. So you get the lights in there and you try to trick them and make them lay more in the winter when they're trying to take a break. So make sure you just try to give them a break, right? Don't get caught up in those uh, sassy little tricks. And I hate to be the one talking about this too because it's another tractor supply story. So if you guys are new around here, I did a tractor supply story and basically exposed them for hosting and sponsoring and promoting drag queen story time <laughs> with kids and people shaking stuff and taking money from them and the whole nine. And I got video evidence about it. And if you wanna see that video, it's right there. Or you can just type in, why is tractor supply silent after this video? It's disgusting. <laughs> and then you do a little bit of digging and you find out that they're part of the ESG program. We did videos about that. That's a social scoring program that they're using for businesses. And the businesses are conforming and it's voluntary, like they're volunteering for the stuff. And you guys got to understand that BlackRock has bought up a lot of stocks in all these companies. BlackRock is a major proponent of this NWO, WEF, WHO, central government for the world junk, right? <laughs> so you have to know all this stuff so you know where you're spending your money. Now, Stacy and I, we make our own chicken feed, and I'm going to show you that right here after I give you this story and explain to you a little bit how to do it, okay? You guys do your best. Do your best to stay out of these big corporate stores. Just do your best, okay? Make your own feed, go to your local farm and home. Like I was mentioning in another video, feed more scraps to your chickens from your table. You know, it, it's just, you're spending probably more money at these stores than you ought to be, right? You're, you don't wanna make this homesteading life some big expense because it's really not it's kind of it's kind of low budget 
You know what I mean? Like I can attest to that. You can make it really expensive, but I can attest to you that this lifestyle is a low budget lifestyle, okay? Now, we're gonna get on to the story. Online claims have emerged, corroborated by others, that the popular Producers Pride chicken feed sold by the tractor supply chain has been recently altered and that its new formula is causing chickens to stop laying eggs. Some suggest a deliberate reduction in the amount of protein in the feed may be causing the reduction of eggs. <sighs> Hens do lay fewer eggs in the winter time Okay, so here's a little bit about what I was just explaining to you guys. Hens do lay fewer eggs in the wintertime due to re reduced sunlight. Farmers have often used light to expose hens to longer light and so to produce more egg laying. Yet farmer sources report that they are seeing much greater than normal reduction in egg production to the point where many report the hens are laying zero eggs instead of merely a reduced amount. There's no word on whether this is a temporary or a permanent change among tractor supply feed. Now that's another thing I was thinking about when this story first started breaking, why I didn't jump right on the story. <laughs> because another thing that came to my mind was the supply chain issues because everything is gonna be blamed on the lie of the supply chain issues, right? And so I was thinking to myself, what if they're gonna say it was a supply chain issue and they couldn't get this much feed so they did alter the feed? And here's the story. So you guys, you have to think outside the box. Just don't jump on these stories because some of them's gonna be just to kinda get you riled up, right? So I was really, really patient on this one and now I just can't ignore it anymore. Not all hen layers feed seem to be affected and quote spokesman of nature's best organic feeds, Courtney Pierce said, there have been absolutely no changes to our premium feed formulas and that they have not heard of any customer criticizing or complaints about their non-GMO chicken feed produce, Price continued. We pride ourselves here at Creamier Feed on premium nutrition for animals nationwide and all the products in our organic non-GMO brand, nature's best organic feed line is no exception. So that could be a plug for her feed line too, right? So I'm gonna also go to actual people, okay? Because you know, the stories on the news, you know, you might get jerked around a little bit. You start talking to the actual people that raise chickens, and here's what one said. In nearly 30 something years of raising chickens, I have never gone without eggs, not even just one. And since, before Halloween, I have not gotten a single egg until about a week ago, and I switched the feed that I was giving. I no longer am feeding chicken feed. I have switched my girls to goat feed. Steel cut oats, black sunflower seeds, and goat feed. I have to say, there's something, uh, something to this. I have to put my little tin pool hat on. It's kind of weird. Okay, now this is a little bit of a comment section, a comment board, you know, where farmers are getting together and they're kind of talking about, you know, just stuff around the farm. And there's a major consensus going on. I'll just read you some of the comments. We have 14 hens that unfortunately have been feeding this. And I can say our hens haven't laid a single egg this winter. Egg production usually slows during winter, but we usually got at least a couple of days pretty suspect. True, my chickens stop laying eggs as well. My sisters, we both buy from tractor supply, not anymore. I've heard from farmers that it's normal for some chickens to stop laying in the winter and fall time, uh, but not totally stop. It says, I have two hens and two roosters. I bought food from tractor supply about three weeks ago. The hens were laying an egg a day until about a week and a half ago and no eggs since. This could explain, but I hope not. You know, some people don't want to believe that, you know, this could actually be happening. And it's just kind of, you know, I'll explain to you guys too real quick. I'm going to, I, I think we get the point. I'm going to take you over and show you our feed and how we stay out of tractor supply and these big chain stores for our feed, right? And there's local feed places you guys can hunt down that are mom and pops that are mixing their own stuff and getting stuff from the fields and making their own chicken scratch and feed. So maybe look into that too. There's no conspiracy theory. I mean, this is a general consensus out here in chicken world with uh, folks raising chickens, right? 
So you guys just, you know, try to do the best that you can. Make your chicken stuff at home, your feed, your scratch. Give them more table scraps. And I'm going to show you guys right now how we feed our chickens. Oh, look, Stacy's mixing some up now. All right, so we got some black oil sunflower seeds, oats. some oats. You can get cracked corn Corbin and put it in perfect. there. Yeah. That's really good. The cracked corn helps keep them a little bit warm in the winter, too. Rye, wheat, whatever, millet, whatever I have that I can find on sale and season. You guys are buying feed at the Tractor Supply. Oh, and I wanted to explain to you guys how this actually works. Tractor Supply just doesn't make their own feed, okay? So they go and buy it bulk, you know, from somebody. Somebody is mixing this feed for them and then putting it in a bag of Tractor Supply. And at this factory where they make this feed, there might be five or ten companies that get this black label feed and then put their name on it, okay? So... You know, is tractor supply deliberately out to sabotage the backyard farmer? I don't think so. I don't think, I hope not. <laughs> but the places that they're doing business and the way they're doing business right now is suspect. Okay? So just think about that. I mean, it's not tractor supply, it's not mixing their own feed. Okay? Now, if you guys want to know how Stacy and I mix our own feed, all the numbers, and everything else we're a little off on the math so don't you know leave bad comments for us but watch this video right here and that'll break down how you can make your own chicken feed now don't forget we're giving away a ford f-150 in just a couple days you guys i'm going to show it to you right now so you can remember what it looks like that's it we're giving away that ford f-150 in just four days or something the 31st of this month it has 150,000 miles on it it's a four-door it's a clean little truck 150,000 miles, it's got the, they call that the uh, Coyote motor. It's the 5.0 motor. I got my paperwork yesterday, all done. That's how cold it is. All the doors are freezing shut. Clean interior, everything's nice. You gotta go to Off Grid with DougAndStacy.com to register. There's only a few more days left and you guys, this is going to be huge. I'm really excited about this, and I have something cool for the next giveaway. I'm doing some really cool stuff. So thanks for being subscribed to our channel. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you guys on the next video. This video was brought to you by Plain and Simple Chocolate Tea from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. The weather outside is frightful. A cup of chocolate tea is so delightful. Made from the husks of roasted cacao beans, it has a chocolatey aroma, yet tastes like an herbal tea. This beverage is rich in mood-enhancing theobromine, the perfect replacement or addition to your morning cup of coffee. You can find it at offgridwithdougandstacy.com. Plain and simple chocolate tea makes me happy.